I'm your host, Chris Barbie of Alumni Relations. On this edition of 1010, 10 minutes or 10 questions, we welcome John Martin, who serves as an assist associate professor and director of athletic bands. John, always good to see you, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris, and thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, let's get started with these questions. John, what is your favorite location on Grand Valley's campus? Oh, that's a, that's a, that, that goes between the uh, Lover's Stadium <laughs> and, and the Haas uh, Center for Performing Arts. So it, both of them, and Kirkhoff is a, is a close third. <laughs> okay. You've got, you've got uh, different things you can go and, and enjoy anytime here on campus. So uh, when you're not directing the bands, what does fun look like for John Martin? Oh, that's a, that's a toughie. Uh, you know, I, I think spending time at home with the dog. I have a dog named Fred, and we do a vlog. I guess that's what you call it now. He's outside uh, during this time of, we've been off. But playing with Fred, going hiking uh, as much as I can, or also going to see some other college sports games at other schools, I guess. Okay. For those watching who don't know you, when did the music bug bite you? Oh, mercy. That's a... That's an old one. I, I have to go all the way back to Mrs. Goggins uh, in uh, first through third grade at Oakmont, uh, Oakmont Primary School in Dixon, Tennessee. Uh, she was the best. I remember playing cat and mouse and uh, her on the piano and uh, she was a great influence to me. Uh, without a doubt, she got the ball rolling, had great music teachers all the way through uh, school. And, uh, but Miss Goggins, uh, without a doubt. Is Miss Goggin still living? No, she's not. Uh, she passed away uh, probably about probably about 20, 25 years ago. So. Okay. Well, obviously, she had a big, big influence on yeah. So, What's the best part of a Saturday night home football game for you? You know, Chris, I, it all starts in the band room. When we are gathered together, we close the doors, and we only allow in alumni and current members into the band room, and we sing the alma mater. And uh, – we go over everything, and then when we line up and we march to the stadium, I think that that whole sequence uh, of things and it's something I sort of got going when I got here, uh, and that's just the thrill to be a part of that group and that ensemble and marching to the stadium and seeing everybody and and all that kind of stuff and showing just showing showing off the group to say the least. Well, that's uh, quite a spectacle when the band does march down the the road to Lubber Stadium and stops in front of the alumni. Irwin a uh, lot and uh, you know there's nothing better than that so yeah. what's a book that you've been reading recently uh, you know I, I am a big nonfiction I love history and I've got a great book uh, on Winston Churchill that came out just a, uh, probably about eight years ago possibly I'm way behind uh, this uh, this new setup has allowed more time to go back to reading and that's and I'll I hate to say that I haven't done a lot of reading. Uh, this has been a, a, and it's been hard to get back into reading, to be honest with you. And so this has been uh, really nice. And uh, so it's a thick book. <laughs> and so it's a, yeah, and forget the title, but it's just a, it's another biography of uh, Winston Churchill. What's your favorite season of the year? Oh, wow. That's a good one. Fall has to be, I just, uh, I love fall. I, uh, Part of that is football and part of it is just that and, and also just when students come back to, or come to campus for the first time and uh, and the students returning I don't know I just love that whole whole thing about it just it's so exciting and and the change of colors I, I miss Tennessee had a lot of color changes uh, and Michigan does too uh, but uh, I fall has to be the my favorite right now what are you working on professionally or personally right now well, professionally, um, I've been doing a band transcription of an, a piece by uh, Ebert, uh, Jacques Ebert. It's a um, for for wind ensemble. Sort of trying to get that finished out, uh, just to stay uh, brain function outside of just keeping things sharp and doing some tuba euphonium ensemble arranging. That's I'm a tuba player by on paper and anyway I like to <laughs> finish out doing that and, uh, for fun uh, well not for fun I've, we've already started the shows for the fall so that's all part of my thing for the summer so getting ready for the fall and the first shows arranging and doing all sorts of things with that so breakfast lunch or dinner 
Oh, breakfast. I'm, I'm, there is no doubt about it. I love breakfast and I go to Mr. Burger. I go to uh, Pepper Mill Grill or Murphy's. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to go to Mr. Burger and get my number two, uh, <laughs> which is yeah, over easy with rye toast. So I, after this, that's going to be my treat going over to Mr. Burger. I'm going to grilled ham and cheese with french fries there and a piece of cherry pie if I'm good that day. So. That's right. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you there someday. Uh, without a doubt, uh, pie is always good. <laughs> Was there ever any plan to be in a rock and roll band? And if so, what would it have been called? Oh, no, there is no doubt. I, <laughs> there's, you, you know, I, I, let me, let, I will, if I put it into another genre, I'll put it like that. I've always wanted to be a member of a gospel, uh, a Southern gospel quartet. I've always wanted to do that. So I'm going to pass on the rock and roll, but I always grew up wanting to be in a gospel quartet singing baritone. Uh, and, uh, and if it would be, I, I, you know, a, a name of that group would, oh gracious, I don't know, John and the Spirit Lifters, I don't know. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Something along those lines. <laughs> oh, that is a great answer right there. So, favorite holiday? Oh, um, I, you know, I, I think 4th of July. I love, I, I get very, I'm, I'm sort of an emotional kind of a guy. And I, you know, I, I cry a lot, and I'm not ashamed to say that. And I get all verklempt or whatever the right word is. Uh, and I love patriotic stuff so much. I, I love celebrating the 4th of July and fireworks and going to see uh, programs and parades and that kind of stuff. Just I get, I try to hit as many 4th of July things that I can, even if they're all in one day, I try to go to different places around uh, this area and catch parades or, or performances and this and that. So. Well, John, thank you very much for joining us. And I, I want to thank you again too. Uh, last fall, you had me come out and speak to the uh, right. band. And sure. uh, I have to say in uh, 17 years at Grand Valley, that was, that was definitely a highlight to be able oh, to come out right. and uh, yeah. to stand up there on the, uh, the, uh, step stool and uh, address the band it was really really cool so and uh i've got my laker marching band hat yay with my name on the back That's it. it doesn't get any better than that so well anchor up and thank you very much and stay safe and um, appreciate your time very much thank you chris all right take care